Hello everyone, it's Dropshots Guy. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about pounds here and we're gonna talk about how Arcus on buying. We're gonna go over how much they bought, how much they're currently investing overall into pounds here as a whole, and kind of where they rank within like their ETFs as of right now and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, but first again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is all for entertainment purposes. I hope you guys like the videos that I make for you. Basically just showing the news the way I see it and giving my opinions, my thoughts and about the stocks that I talk about and why I think you should be investing in these certain specific stocks such as Palantir and such as Salesforce like a video I made yesterday. So just remember, not a financial advisor. Okay, so lately we haven't really been having that much news with, with Palantir such as new uh, partnerships or new contracts as, as much as we've been having kind of like one first came into the market we've been having like a contract every other week or at least every week and there's a lot of news but lately it's kind of died down just a little bit i think the only main news as of right now is uh basically that arc is on buying so arc is on buying at these certain prices and they've been consistently buying for a good amount now that there was like a small period where they actually sold some shares but overall they've been buying more and investing more and more into palantir as a whole so today they actually invested around 47,000 shares into their ARK ETF and another 14,000 shares into their ARK W. By the way, um, if you guys want to know like how to get this information, all you have to go, all you have to do is just go on Google and then look for ARK Palantir or ARK W, you know, Palantir, and then just search for their fund holdings. And then there you're, you should be able to download the, um, basically like the, the funds list and they update they update this every day so that way you can kind of compare basically like day, day by day how much they're they're going up in shares or how much they're going down in shares and stuff like that so anyways so overall it, it was around a good um more than sixty thousand shares uh today so overall another good day i think i wonder if, how, if arc um, well, actually, I don't want to say this, but I feel like in a way, Arc is uh, holding the line for uh, for Palantir as of right now. So Palantir has been going down um, pretty recently, and it, it hasn't really gapped up in a, in a while ever since uh, the shot from twenty five to thirty uh, a couple weeks ago. So lately, it's just been kind of stagnating and uh, just going with uh, the flow of the market. So the market overall has been going down, as as you know. And um, even though the market went down today, I think Palantir was able to hold kind of somewhat strong. Um, I don't know if it has, if it's because of that ARC influence or because there's so many bulls that, that see that ARC is buying every day. So they're kind of just holding strong, which is a good thing. And I think Palantir, I still think it's, it's a top notch type of company it's definitely going to be big um in terms of data and ai and all that stuff um, it's already big but it's going to be even bigger in the future so it's, it's barely starting to branch out and everything so overall i think if you're if you're holding shares uh actually just let me know in the comments like if you're holding shares or if you're just like day trading it or swing trading or if you're just playing options with it i kind of just want to know like what you guys are doing um, overall, I think most of you are holding shares, but I'm just interested to know what you guys are doing. But anyway, so <clears throat> I made a video yesterday, or not yesterday, I made a video last week basically talking about how much um, ARK has invested in total. And last video, basically, they had around $300 million total in, invested into Palantir based on their two funds, their two ETF funds, so both ARK and ARKW. Uh, however, today they have around 312 million uh, combined. So if you were to combine the amount invested into uh, RK and RW, then you get around two, 312 million dollars. So they've been like, they've definitely been stepping up their game with um, investing more and just putting more money into pounds here. Um, I think they're taking full advantage of of it being well under 25 and. Um, well, I'm pretty sure like you've been seeing or I've been making videos of all the massive shares that they've been buying in like the millions <laughs> So they're, they're definitely taking full advantage of this uh, dip I would say and um, I feel like it's gonna it's definitely gonna return a lot of gains in Well into the future if not even you know by the end of this year, it should be it should be good 
So anyways, that's it for uh, for today's news. Basically, ARK just keeps on buying. And and I feel like the ARK confidence is, is definitely there. It's definitely uh, keeping the bulls uh, happy and stoked about the stock. Uh, you should be stoked and happy about it overall. But I think the ARK investment just adds like an extra boost or cherry on top to to uh, Palantir. So either way, uh, I see... I see Palantir being definitely is definitely one of my my top picks, and um, fortunately, I I'm not able to to get in. I'm actually not in anything right now. Um, kind of playing on the sidelines. I'm not even playing on the sidelines. Um, I'm I guess you can say I'm taking a breather. Uh, I have a lot of expenses coming up, and it is tax season and all that stuff. So uh, definitely pulling out as of right now until I figure out like my whole situation and everything, and then uh, definitely want to get back in. Shortly, um, hopefully, Palantir stays around twenty-five for a while, so I, I get in at a good deal, and um, hopefully, it doesn't shoot back up above thirty too fast. I mean, it's definitely capable of doing that, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you give a like. Really appreciate it. I'll be making more. Uh, I'm definitely gonna stick to be making more videos of Palantir, giving you guys uh, news coverage as I see it, especially if there's like. Uh, crazy news that comes out I'll definitely try to be one of the first to report it and I'll also be covering other stocks that I feel um, are good investments they're probably not as great as Palantir I because Palantir is, is definitely one of those uh, growth stocks that I, I would say have it definitely has the potential potential to shoot up a lot faster than other stocks but either way I'll go over more stocks that I, I kind of have um, a good uh, favoritism towards and then i'll even explain and do analysis of why i think you should be investing in such as the video that i did yesterday like salesforce and stuff so so anyways that's it for today's video if you like be sure to um, hit the like button make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll see you guys in the next video